there are things that are wrong. And when he was saying that, while praying, he talked about some things, and um, like he talked about the Sukuk bond. He talked about the men in politics, I mean, Christians in politics. We discovered that Christians, we don't help each other. Yeah, I must say that. I came from, I'm from Oshun State, and um, I think that things that are happening in Oshun State, I know that for the past, for some years now, Muslims dominate. How? Because they support each other. If I'm with a Christian now, I'm being criticized or something. Before you see a Christian brother that will stand for me, and stand like, oh no, this man is, he will even backbite me. And um, I, I don't even know why. I always want them to like stand for me. Oh, this man is so something like, oh, oh, I need his support. But you discover that you only have Muslims that will stand, you can even trust them. And when you do business with them, they do it with their mind. A lot of things. Raising men, I love the deem, sir, and I must appreciate this, wake up the mighty men. What, I just wanted to ask a question. What are the, I, I've said it before. There was a time I said it. I always try to pour on my mind. I don't keep friends. So social media, sometimes I might just write, what is so something like this? I, I, I do criticize before. Because I discovered that men, the great men of God we have in this country, I must say that I'm very sorry. We are so particular about what we take in. We are not actually developing us. When they are not developing us. No, that doesn't, I'm, I'm good to ask. What is the church doing? The men, people like you, I see mentors here. I see great people here. What are, the, what are they doing to make sure that they give us the proper orientation? It might be happening now because we grew up, but I believe that we can see our the situation right now. So I believe what are they doing to make sure that this thing stops and we are able to raise men that will be able to support each other and take up the take up the structure of this country and do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we can. Would that be okay for you? I, I, I think it should be, it should be, it should okay. be okay. You need to read this article on Islamic agenda, not the real threat <laughs> to the church. You need to read the article. Good evening, church. Good evening. Firstly, my question is for my friend. Okay. Okay, I have a friend in on campus okay. in which when he was in two hundred level first semester God asked him to drop out of school. Okay. God. Yeah. God. God asked him to drop out of school. So actually after he dropped out of school, yeah. he was in school throughout the two hundred level. All right. And he was functioning where God was asking him to function. All right. So this little while it just went to he came to Ibadan here to go for a Bible college in which God asked him to go into right. so like three weeks or okay when he, they admitted him three days or a week later another confirmation came like go back to school a petri Jesha, function there not going back into school studying but go and take over that territory that's our campus in school Although they say it's confirmed, but I was looking like, what kind of advice? Because the guy is basically on scholarship now in the Bible college. What kind of advice can you give to that kind of person at that point right. in time? Second question. That's all? That's one. All right. Then my whole question is that, how do you kind of, how do I want to say, strategize academic life, your social life, your spiritual life in the place that you have another thing that you have interest in apart from the academics you are doing in school so how do you kind of place it into settings as there will be sometimes from school from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. you are in school and there are some things you have find interest in that you want to do All right. at that particular how do you kind of place that thing that's All my right. question for now I hope you are taking the notes down too at the same time so I won't forget third one okay Good evening, church. Good evening. Uh, all right. My name is Biodo. Okay. okay. I, I, have, um, I have two fold questions. Now, one, the first one is, I just wanted to shed more light. Okay. I was having a discussion with um, a couple of friends, uh, like um, two weeks ago or so, and then we were talking about uh, miracles. And, um, and um, I, I happened to be studying that week, and, you know, I have been having this 
um, I've been disquieted in my spirit for quite a while now, and um, I'm very, very, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, what would I call it, called now? Um, I am just tired of church. Okay. You know, as it is right now. So basically, I and one of the things I was studying, I was studying the life, the lives and the works of Jesus, and I, I don't know how I began to share with them at that meeting, and that Jesus Christ said, "Greater works than this, you will do." It's very obsolete right now. With 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 um with a different kind of chroma glasses, a blind man can see right now. There are prosthetics that you can attach to a man who has lost a limb that he actually can begin to use his hand to carry things and he can we have seen amputees they are running in olympics right now i mean well, well deaf people have hearing aids if they have it they don't need a prayer for for god to open their ears there are, there are people whose fortunes turned around when they lost their legs than when they were walking with their two feet and when you begin to look at this and i and i said see for me when the bible talks about greater works it actually should mean greater works not a recycling of the whole kind of miracles and so when we look at it in 2000 years ago and we are still we are, we are still advertising those miracles as greater works are we a failed generation secondly if you look at it the, the bible says, says the kingdom of this world is become the kingdom of our lord and of his christ if a miracle and that's what my conclusion was and i just wanted you to shed more light on it if the miracles we are doing in this time is not bringing nations to their knees to bow to the to the lordship of jesus christ then they are not what to be called miracles all right my second question is this okay i hope you're having them down yeah it was one <laughs> Go on. uh, uh, you, you, you know you know you know you know I, i'm amazed sitting down here you guys are religious. You, you know, all of you that are talking, I, I'm seeing you, you know, try to squirm out of that box you have been given. You're battling from the guy from Osu State. You know, he said, I'm raised Pentecostal. You know, we, we, we have these issues, all this taking over mentality, bringing this up to their, to their knees, all that stuff. You know, it's their all religious languages. Bringing what listens to their knees. What knees? Where? In church, begging, Jesus. You know, all, all, those, all those words we use, they, they've been words that have been formed over the years that have been put in our mouths. That if you just stop and think about them, we will. Who asks us to bring them to their, to their knees? Mm. Is that what we are asked to do? So. When we look at all these things, let's start with the first question about men. About Christians not helping, you know, themselves. You know, you know what? <laughs> Christians, they don't even know themselves. Christians don't know themselves. They don't know themselves. Let's be honest over here. You know, one of my friends was talking about why the Muslims are, are helping themselves. I said, you know, there's a problem in Christianity. Before you came in, you are a basket case. And the Christian faith will normalize your life. So, if it doesn't normalize your life, you get worse than even the unbelievers. If you don't change. Forgive me. So, today in the church, first of all, number one, first of all, we got a commandment. I said, as I've loved you, love one another. But today, the ministers can't talk about that because they are building ministries. That's highly competitive. If I come near Pastor Francis over here and I, I have to impress you beyond him to cross the border so you can come over to my side. Are you hearing me? So I can't I can't talk about love. He will destroy me and my reputation and my impression. So it's a highly competitive world over here, even in the kingdom. So number one. I would say by this are all when you love one another. So we can't even love. I know you know John 3.16, but what's for John 3.16? I know you don't know that. What's first John 3.16? We know John 3.16. Can you give us on the screen? First John 
Is it possible? First John three sixteen. Can we have it on this on the screen? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. By this we know love. How do we know love? Because he laid down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But he laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down. That means what my, my life down for Pastor Francis. The sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, no man has love better than this. That means as we're running errand for him and going his best. Can you imagine? That's what God is all about. Come on. God has no need. He has no struggle. All his struggle, all his needs, they are us. Am I correct? Yeah. Am I correct? The bigger God, I mean, the bigness of God is in his service. I mean, he's serving the whole universe. He's not consumed about himself. And he said, he's made us like him. Now, today, the indices of measuring growth is miracles, walks, other stuff. But, 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 but Paul said, I can speak in tongues and all that kind of stuff. I, I, can, I can take faith in mountains, but I'm nothing. So to Paul, you measure it by faith and hope and love. Love is the greatest. So, number one, do we even love ourselves? And do we even love the world? You see, I talk about bringing the world to their knees. Well, I know what you are talking about, religious stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, come now. Yes, no, kingdom of God. No, 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 no. Love takes over art. Love serves. We are not supposed to bring them to, our, to their knees. We should fall on our knees and serve them. That's all we are here for. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm destroying our languages. People will say, the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God. What's the kingdom of our God? Thank you, sir. It's the kingdom of service. Let now you... So this Pentecostal thing that just, just, just holds us back. We need to we need to really spend some time and drop all our books and pick up the book and, and, and begin to examine ourselves am i really reflecting christ for instance let me shock you with this today you're talking about christ 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 but when he came here he spent 33 years am i correct 33 years he spent 30 years not as a minister but as a carpenter I mean, think about it. He was 30 years as a carpenter. Then he gave me the tithe of it to God for three and a half years ministry. Tithe of 33. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. But you I mean, spent his time as a carpenter for 30 years. Wow. Let's come to the other side. My sister, second one. The sister that said, uh, I got a call. Got out of America, you know, got out of school, then God said Bible college. <sighs> you know, I'm sorry to say this. Today, I pity this generation now. Because we're having so much of hand me down stuff. I go to Bible school. What do you want? Produce pastor for your own group teach you stuff that you need to know to defend us right so baptists keep your tough methodists keep your tough pentecostal keep your tough and when jesus came here he couldn't belong to pharisees or sadducees or herodians he was just he was just he was just he was just out of the borders <laughs> you know I, I have a problem today that's how Masmuro was, was really, they, they, they thought he was a crazy guy. You know, you know, today, the church itself, that's the problem, saying that, when we will say church, 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 we don't understand what we're talking about. The church is not just 
ministers gathering together with some few folk in their church around Monday, Bible study, Tuesday, prayer meeting, Wednesday, uh, fellowship of women. No, 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 that's not church. We are the church. We are the church. We are the church. So if you are blasting the church, you are blasting us. And please, God has not handed over the church to the ministers. Because when you got saved, you never said, Pastor Debray, be my Lord, my Savior. Or Pastor Frozen. You know, you say, Jesus is Lord. Right? Yes. Right? And what are those men for? Help us of your joy. Help us of your joy. So, we, we, today, our trouble is that we, we want to, okay, let's look at Jesus himself. Come to your question. About miracles. Simply love in action. He was sitting into lepers. He was sitting to the sinful people and touching them and doing whatever necessary to make them come to life that's truly life. And so Jesus said this 